we go. Here we are in the master bath, and the, this is real typical of uh, the homes that were built in uh, 1999. We've got the big tub. Uh, we've got the chrome fixtures. A lot of them I see actually have the gold fixtures, so the gold's out. Uh, actually, the chrome is coming back today. So a new tub, bigger tub. Uh, we're going to do a new vanity. A lot of vanities today are only 32. This is exceptional. He already has a 36-inch high vanity, but we're going to change it out, and we're going to do a painted vanity. So we're going to do a new solid surface top, some new faucets, probably in a nickel finish, uh, very popular today. Uh, we're going to do a new floor. Some people do heated floors today. But uh, moving over to where the shower is, uh, you can see it's the fiberglass shower. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was built, uh, you know, in 1999. Uh, they're less maintenance, but after time they tend to wear. Uh, so we're going to do a ceramic shower, a new ceramic base. We're going to put a frameless door in. And uh, we're also going to do something uh, interesting here. We're actually going to cut this wall in half right here. And we're going to add glass here so that we can add a lot more light into the uh, shower. And so that will be a custom 3 8 inch solid glass door in here. Uh, we're going to actually add a new toilet in the toilet room. Anything else we're doing in here, Jake? I was going to say, yeah, um, nobody likes those lower toilets anymore. So we're definitely adding an elongated front comfort height toilet. You see those nowadays plenty. Um, new floor tile, like Mike said, the in-floor heat um, definitely is a nice touch on any master bath. 